Good morning, Emmy with Blissfully Healthy here. And today we're talking about how do you have time for it all? Oh my goodness. Time for kiddos, time for eating healthy, time for cooking, time for exercise. Can't do it all. So it's something I hear a lot from clients. And today I really want to bring some information. It's something that I've been doing. Hi, TJ. So glad you're here. Um, this is something that I've been doing with clients from the very beginning when I first started uh, my business in 2013. So it's been almost seven years that this is one of those first things I really like to do with clients. And it is part of the Living Blissfully Healthy program because it's that critical. So I used to hear things from, and I do hear things from clients when they're first getting started of, I don't have the time or how do I make the time? And while we don't want to like reinvent the whole wheel of like how we're spending our time, we can take a look at one thing at a time and decide what we're going to focus on. Um, and yet there are times when we need to look at it all. So one of those key things that I absolutely love doing with clients in sessions and private coaching sessions, and I also teach this in group sessions, is time mapping. Oh my goodness, it is your best friend. It is your best friend. And some people, um, really look at time mapping and it feels um, constrictive or it feels too much structure, that is okay. That also gives me an indicator of some modifications we need to make because we don't want it to feel um, constricting and like you're trapped because you've got this time. Um, but in a lot of ways, it provides clarity. It's like a schedule reality check because it can be easy to say yes to this and yes to that and yes to this um, and then look at our schedules and say, whoa, what did I sign up for? <clears throat> so part of a, one of the worksheets that I've made um, for my clients is how are you spending your time? And it is <clears throat> part of the Living Blissfully Healthy program and it's much prettier in color. <laughs> Um, but what you do is you literally just block out when are you sleeping and it's not this rigid goal that this is what I have to live by and nothing can change and we don't want that perfectionism to come in but we do want it to be where you are being strategic and being real about what do you really have time for because the reality is is that we all have the same 24 hours in a day and um, our priorities and how we spend our time, um, how we spend our time is really the direct relation to what we're really choosing as priorities in our life. And it changes. Hello, guys. So glad you're popping on. Hi, Tracy. Um, so what I, I'm just going to show you a quick, a quick version of this real quick. I'll show you. I'm going to show you. I got a yellow marker. And so we'll just do yellow for right now. I don't know where all my markers went. But honestly, this is the last step of about five steps, easy peasy steps, that are part of the Living Blissfully Healthy program. But I wanted to just show you how powerful this is. Um, so let's just say you're working at 8 o'clock to noon. And we're just going to put some lines in there. And then maybe you have an hour lunch. Nice. And then maybe you work until 5. So then you can choose... So you can see it on there. Color is your friend when you do this. And then you can block out time, maybe blue. You choose blue for like sleep time. When are you actually going to sleep? And this is a 24 hour time map and it's done on that way in purpose. So you can really get clear of how many hours am I sleeping a night? Because if we're not getting enough sleep, we're going to have more food cravings because our physiology is out of balance. We're going to feel more depressed. We're going to feel more anxious, um, directly related to not getting enough sleep and quality sleep. And so I have clients that will come in and, and show me their time maps, um, and they're getting about six hours of sleep, and they're wondering why the emotional eating in the evening has been such a struggle. And so we will get that and we make some modifications with that and they notice that it gets easier in the evening and they don't have as many cravings. Um, and so you can just do this throughout the week. Whenever there's a lifestyle change, for example, my oldest son is going to be starting track soon and that's going to be changing schedule. So I am excited to pull out my time map and, and take a look at my priorities that I'm clear on and then mapping it out so that I feel secure that there's enough time 
to really live in alignment with what's truly important to me right now. And when you see it in color about how you're spending your time, so maybe work is yellow all across the board, maybe um, sleep is blue all across, hi Carol, and then maybe quality time with your loved ones, maybe it's pink, maybe it's orange. Um, workout time, maybe that's green. So you can really get clear about how you're spending your time. A lot of times I like to block it out using pencil first, so I can kind of see, ah, oh, does that fit? Mm, I, well, I kind of need some more study time, so let me make this change. And it's really, really helpful to be able to, to get clear, no, I can't do this. Yes, I can add this on. So that is the last step, and it's part of the Living Blissfully Healthy program. This is one of the worksheets that I really help clients go through and getting clear on their values and what's really important to them. Um, and the last step of that then is this. Because if we don't really understand and are not clear about what's really important to us, it's going to be hard to be clear on our time map. Um, so this is really a, a profound way that makes a huge difference. <clears throat> you don't have to do it every single week this way, but the idea is to get a template. And sorry, my camera is a little blurry. Let me fix that. Okay, hopefully it'll adjust. <laughs> um, not that this needs to be perfectionism, and and things are going to happen where maybe one day you are not able to follow this template. That's okay, because that's how life is. Um, but the idea is, is that you want to feel secure that you have enough time to do the things that are really important to you. And it starts to help to shake out all the sand, things that are not really important to you. Um, so I'd like to kind of answer the question directly, like how do you have all the time, Ms. Coach Emmy, for school and, and such? So I go to school in the morning for a couple of hours. I have one online class so I can study at home. And then right after that, I come into the office and see clients. And then in the afternoon before I pick up my kiddos, I'll study for an hour or so. Um, and then we'll go home together and cook a healthy dinner and help with any homework needs and uh, bath time. And then we, my youngest son and I will go to yoga class, hot yoga lately, and uh, he loves it because it's fun for him to play. And then we'll come home and uh, do a little bit more reading a book together and a uh, bedtime routine, and then we'll go to bed. So one of those things that has fallen away pretty much completely is watching TV. So, um, and those are the types of things we can take a look at and see how am I spending my time? Is this really important to me? And it's really gotten to the point where we hardly, all of us hardly ever watch TV because we're just really enjoying life with what's really important to us. Um, but I do love Netflix and I do love TV. Absolutely. But right now in this season in life, that's something I'm absolutely willing to, and I don't miss it at all because, uh, I'm super happy with how everything is flowing together and spending quality time with kiddos. So that's just an example of how it starts to, um, help to really get clear on how you're spending time. So maybe spending less time on Facebook after you watch this video. <laughs> Um, of spending less time on YouTube, spending less time watching TV. Where is it that you're spending your time that's not in alignment with what's truly important to you and where you want to go in this season in life? And again, it's always good to redo this whenever you have a change, um, a season change. Um, kids need to have different events that they go to or, um, you know, birthday parties, holiday time. It's always good to redo this and get curious of if there's things that need to change or if your priorities have shifted because priorities shift. There's things that are important right now in life um, and in six months they may not be as important or things that used to be important to me six months ago, you know, things have, may have changed and so maybe they're not as important to me and that is okay. Okay, but really getting clear on that, um, and that's a process that we walk through in the Living Blissfully Healthy program so that it feels concrete. Um, so this is a huge tool that I love helping clients do, and 
I used to, I used to do this with clients to the point where it, it felt like they weren't making the progress they wanted. Cause I kept hearing things like I don't have time or ah, I overbooked myself or I I'm overwhelmed. Um, and so now when I have clients start, it's one of the first things I love doing right out the gate within well, the second session or so. And especially in when I do group coaching, it's one of the first things because we need to do, we do need to create time to be healthy. We do need to create time to cook healthy meals. If that's something that's important to you, we do need to take time to exercise. Um, and it can be an and, you know, maybe moving your body with your kiddos so you have quality time and exercise time. Um, or for an example for me, I'll listen to one of my recorded lectures and I'll go for a walk, right? Or I'll cook. A lot of times I'll cook or I'll clean while I'm listening to my lectures. Um, but I'm also making sure that that quality time is there and that with my kids and that is a priority. That is one of my, my that is my, top in my top priorities. Absolutely. So making sure you are in your top priorities and you put yourself on your calendar also, because then you're going to take better care of everybody in your life. So I hope this has been helpful. If it's overwhelming to you, no worries. That is okay. I hear that also from clients and that's something we can walk through. Hi, Irina. Hello. Um, and so that's something we can walk through and different personality types will gravitate towards this more and other ones will feel a little bit constrained and restricted. And that's something uh, we can take those first couple of steps and take it one thing at a time and not needing to do it all at one time. All right, guys. So this is morning boost number 28. We just have a few of them left. I'm super excited to be completing this and it's been such an honor being able to provide you all of this information. I am leaving my uh, all of these on my YouTube channel for a few more days and then I will be taking them down once we complete those 30 days of daily of morning boosts. Um, so definitely feel free to go back and check them all out. And if you would like to connect with me and discover what this whole Living Blissfully Healthy program is about, you're welcome to set up a complimentary discovery session with me. And you could do that at blissfullyhealthy.com. That's B-L-I-S-S-F-U-L-L-Y, healthy, just the way it's spelled, .com. And you can look at my blogs. You can look at my other videos that I have. And you can also fill out a contact form and get all my schedule from that place. And we can set some time to chat and see if coaching would be a good fit for you. So until we connect again tomorrow morning, you are invited to stop dieting and start living because a blissfully healthy lifestyle does not have an expiration date. And you, you are worth it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.